Over here at the fabulous Brown and Sharp number two, plain standard milling machine with the sliding vertical head. <laughs> and in there I have, in the 40 taper spindle, I have a 180 series Erickson call it chuck. And in there, is that uh, 3 16 drill bit I just sharpened. Carbide. Going to drill through a file. Okay. I think you can see the action from there. Okay. Not a whole lot of selection of speeds. I'm going to try uh, 1200 here. And here it goes. And let's make sure that there indeed is a hole. How about that? Not too bad. Not too bad. I wonder how, how sharp that drill still is. Checking it here. Let's try another hole. Crank it on over, see if it'll do two holes on one grind. Now remember, this was a scrap stub of a uh, carbide drill. Here we go, 1200 RPM. I'd say that punched two holes, but that's pretty hard material, and I think uh, the bit should be, uh, if it's going to, it'd probably do a third hole, maybe a fourth and a fifth, but since the cutter grinder is here, and we're drawing holes and files, it's real easy to put the bit back into the head here and touch it up. I'll set it up and do that. Hey there, here at the Cincinnati number two tool and cutter grinder, vintage, about 1942. <laughs> nice oldie, but still a goodie, in my opinion. Well, anyway, I want to drill some holes in this whole file, right? And when you do that, uh, these uh, high-speed steel drill bits don't do very good drilling holes in files. Yeah, it, it's a tough job. So when you're coming up with a tip for um, drilling hard material, you, you have to have a side clearance that you can see by that slope that way. And um, you have to have a point geometry ideally less than this, which is, uh, where are you, right there, which is about 59 or 60 degrees standard drill bit. So I want to make more of a blunt um, point. So instead of 60 degrees, I'm going to do uh, 52. 
And since I'm not rolling the edge like regular sharpening this bit, I'm going to do a straight across grind. And I can explain some of that. I can make it a little easier for myself because I'm going to use the uh, brown and sharp mill, which is a super solid setup. I'd probably add another uh, back uh, clearance angle if I was going to do it on a bridge port, okay, because it's not a stiff. And, but that would make a weaker tool. Mm. So anyway, I'm going to do it the way I'm going to do it. And uh, I'll point out other things you can do as we grind tools. <laughs> it's fun. I love grinding tools. Okay, so I got one of these broken 3 16 drills in the all tool Rotodex. 5C call it, ch uh, call it with a um, um, half inch shank number 300 Ericsson. Call it Chuck. Kind of choked up on the um, flutes a little bit. Let's see where we are with the. Uh, gotta kick this on. Chloe's starting to eat those bones. Get that going. Okay. So, this might be an okay place to watch, I don't know. And I'm going to start grinding on that. So I got that set and I'll index it on over. Here comes the vacuum. There's the wheel. Get stuff out of the way. Looks like everything's going okay. Okay, go to the wheel. Now I'm going to grind mostly half of it, then the other half, then touch up each half, okay? You can do it all kinds of ways. That yeah, back actually seems to pick stuff up pretty good. Let's see how I'm looking at the table there. Oh, I'm not going to touch the wheel yet, please see. Seems like I can. There we go. Okay, take a quick look again. Just uh, 180 degrees. That easy. Okay. Now grind uh, to my zero. Let's 
where to go. Getting close. Oh, about seven thousand square. Okay, let's get the first look here. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, the light's kind of iffy. And maybe you can see what that it has ground for a car. So I'll do a finish uh, finish glass on it. I'm going to feed it in about a thousand. Okay, I'm going to index it. 180. And then him. Got a scale on the rim here, I just swing it right around the zero. And this panel in case here, lock the pin right here. A tapered pin, so it, it locks it there. And now I'll just uh, do that finish. Uh, so we're going there on that flute. Oh, my. That seems hot. Single down. Get that out of there. This is not very tight. Oh, it is pretty tight. So we loosen that and we use the pin. Not slipping. Okay, get it. Yeah. Can we see that point? Now, if I was going to use a lighter machine, like the bridge port, I would do a little back cut here. That'd get a little bit more clearance. And I only gave it four degrees, and I might give it like five or something. So let's go uh, push this through a file, okay? That sounds like fun. Okay, let's say uh, I was doing a, a series of holes like this. It would be really good to leave this set up here to keep sharpening these bits. And you can see this bit here just after that job is starting to look a little bit, just a little bit rough. And it's good to uh, examine under magnification and the edge is not chipped, but I can see it's starting to slightly round over. So now that I'm set up, it's so easy to stick it in there and just uh, take a couple thousandths off and 
have it cleaned up. Okay, I will be back with more carbide grinding.